are located just outside of Bush Street and San Diego Street um, near the Balderrama Park in Oceanside. Uh, approximately 4.08 p.m. we received phone calls of graffiti taking place in the exterior area of the park. Officers began responding and on their way to the call they received additional calls of shots fired in that same area. When they arrived on scene, they located a Hispanic male adult, believed to be in his 30s, deceased, right at the corner of Bush Street and San Diego Street. He had sustained multiple gunshot wounds. And we have investigators on scene conducting a homicide investigation. We are asking the public if they have any information to provide to please contact the Oceanside Police Department immediately. You can dial our non-emergency number, 760-435-4900, or call 911 in an emergency. And any suspect information in relation to all of this at this point? Not yet at this time, no. And you said there were three instances of graffiti that you suspect are connected to the shooting. Um, could you take us through the path of, of those um, graffiti locations? Correct. There's a location on the exterior of Balderrama Park in a small parking lot on the opposite side of our recreation center there that has similar, uh, all three locations have similar tagging. Um, and then at the front of Balderrama Park at the second rec center site, there's additional graffiti there. And then at Bush Street in San Diego, there is another location site. And very close to Joe Balderrama Park, the recreation center in the afternoon. Could you speak on the um, suspected atmosphere of the park given the time and um, just, just how brazen it was uh, that, that this happened. Yeah, still light outside at that point in the day and, you know, folks out here enjoying the park and, you know, outdoor activities. So we are really encouraging the public if they saw something to please say something so we can make sure that we identify the suspect and get them into custody. And there was a, another shooting within the last couple months in this general area, uh, San Diego and Bush Street. Could you speak on the, the relation, if any, and the, um, just the frequency in this specific area and why that might be. Preliminary to make any connection to other incidents at this point, investigators will always take a look at that to see if incidents are connected um, or if they have similar patterns or suspects involved. Um, but in this area, and this is a beautiful area, um, it's a beautiful community. Um, we have a, a beautiful large park here. Um, it is a busy thoroughfare. Um, one of our major streets and intersections is right on the um, other side of this block. So, um, you know, easy access to make a getaway, unfortunately. But um, it, it's a beautiful community, so it's really unfortunate and tragic that something like this would happen. And where does the department go from here in terms of the investigation? Obviously, we're near businesses. Homes many times nowadays have the ring video doorbells and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, could you? touch on surveillance uh, that may be looked into as well as any other aspects uh, moving forward with the investigation? Yes, so our, our investigators are out here right now. What they'll do is they'll canvas the area. They will seek any video, any surveillance camera footage that they can identify. They will talk to any potential witnesses um, and follow leads from there. Our um, investigators are thorough <laughs> and uh, persistent and they solve their cases. They, on a consistent basis, solve their cases and do it in a quick fashion. So I have no doubt that they'll aggressively pursue any leads that they uh, receive. Do you have any witnesses at this point? Anybody you're talking to? Uh, this time of day, there are definitely people out here that our investigators have spoken with and they'll continue to speak to more people as the night unfolds. Um, I don't have a number of how many that they've spoken to yet. These things do take time. Um, but we are asking for anybody if they saw something to please say something because that can definitely help investigators get to uh, pertinent information much quicker and speed things up. And the residents of the area, should they be taking any action, any, any sort of safety protocols going into effect uh, following this? You know, we believe this to be an isolated incident, so we don't believe there to be any perceived active threat to their safety at this time. However, um, we know over time that when our community works with our police department, that's when we see public safety enhanced. So the more that our community is willing to come forward and talk to our investigators and talk to our officers and help and get involved in investigations, if they saw something and coming forth with information, um, that helps increase public safety and reduce crime in their area. So we're fortunate that we have that type of relationship with our residents. We just wanna see that continue and we just wanna encourage those that maybe don't have that connection with the police department 
to please reach out. And that number one more time if they would like to reach out? 760-435-4900. That's our non-emergency number. They can call that at any time, 24 hours a day. And of course, 911 if it's an emergency. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank you. it.